if you are trying to figure out what is the best NAS for your Mac or any RAID based storage device for your Mac, then watch this video. So we have a question here uh, talking about um, Mac, uh, which got Thunderbolt 2, but he wants to upgrade to Thunderbolt 3. Um, and um, he doesn't have any sort of wiring um, like 10 gigabit or CAT6, uh, whatever, 10 gigabit ready ca cabling from the router. So he's more relying on, on uh, Wi-Fi speeds or something local on his desk. And um, he's asking what um, going for a NAS option would be something crazy. And um, if uh, if you don't have any uh, CAT6 based cabling, then then it might be tricky for you to have a decent speeds over a NAS. So you most likely, if you have any, any wires in your home, then it's probably a uh, gigabit speed, uh, CAT5 based uh, cabling, uh, which um, wouldn't be something fast enough to to do, uh, for, for example, 4K editing and stuff like that. Um, you could do simple HD video editing and stuff like that, but um, the speeds wouldn't be greater than uh, somewhere around 100 megabytes a second a mark. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't hope too much of that. So for that reason, he's asking what would be the best um, solution. Should he go for a NAS or DAS? And um, if you are working on a Mac, uh, when you're trying to connect something, through Thunderbolt connection, you're probably expecting these really great speeds. So you really are not interested in something slow like a gigabit based. But um, luckily there are ways to do that. So you can have, um, if you go for a DAS unit, doesn't need to be NAS, you can go for a DAS, something like um, Pegasus or um, uh, 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 six big uh, uh, Arika boxes or um, Lacey sort of solutions, all these directly um, um, connectable um, devices will give you this um, uh, fast connection because most of the time you'll have um, something called hardware RAID. That means that the RAID, the, the group of disks, um, are having this RAID uh, card in the background maintaining this RAID. So just because of that, uh, you don't need system resources like NAS would need to maintain the RAID because this is actually decreasing the speed as well, not just connection. Uh, so you would need to, if you go for a DAS solution, it's always going to be faster because of um, this hardware uh, rate, what is in the background. And also, of course, the drives itself will uh, determine the speed. If you've got uh, hard drives or SSDs, if you've got more drives, the greater the speed. But um, you are going to be limited of what you can do with DAS. If you are the only user in home then, and you only want to use it for um, video editing, then this is an option for you. So you can just connect, edit, whatever. It's directly happening everything on, on, on that uh, storage device. But if you want to do something more like um, collaborating, having two people uh, doing the same, uh, some sort of editing or accessing files, you can't do that. If you want to share the files, it will be complicated. You will need to leave your Mac on, then you can share through your Mac somehow that, that this way and port forwarding a very complicated process. Um, and, and, and functionality you can, we can do with that is also limited because this at the end of the day is just a storage device. It is nothing, it's really smart. So, um, and, and, but the thing is um, with DAS units is why people choose them often that some sort of um, software they are using, some editing software does demand um, uh, does a storage device which is direct connected storage because it's smart enough to detect if it's network connected or, or directly Thunderbolt or USB connected and, and some software might not let you do that. With NAS you can have a way around with well, enabling iSCSI sort of connection and tricking the system that this NAS is actually connected as an internal drive to your system and that you can wait, uh, find a way around. But that, that's the only thing this compatibility with the software. Otherwise, NAS will just do as good job as, uh, as DAS if, if you are uh, configured properly and if you choose the right, the right solution. Uh, so the other thing with um, what you need to look at is like feature, features as well, because NAS is not only just a storage device, you can turn it into a um, backup solution, like a time machine backups. Which you, of course you can do with that as well, but you can also 
have several users on, on um, several time machines installed on this on this NAS process network attached. It's not DAS. It's not just the one machine. You can um, you can do these things. And if you have a look like uh, what the DAS options would be, you would go for probably something like Lazy Thunderbolt three uh, options to get the speed or G speed um, um, solutions to GTEC. Um, or Promise uh, Pegasus um, 3 series. You can have um, a different number of drives depending on what speed or what capacity you want. And uh, lately actually Pegasus have released um, some sort of combo solution which is DAS and NAS 2 in 1. They got rack mount and, and um, they also got desktop variants. Like that. They added the Keyboard Pro which means you can actually connect um, as a DAS and a NAS uh, this is again, this is just a storage device. The, the functionality is not that rich as you would um, uh, expect from other brands like Snowdio Kuna, but um, they did manage to create this DAS system uh, in such a way that it will be detected as a DAS rather than a NAS. So the compatibility sort of issue is resolved here. So all software will work with this and uh, and, and then not on, you're not only limited per single user, uh, but also you can have collaboration. Many people can connect via Ethernet, 10 gigabit ports at the back. So th this is our combo solution. Um, so you can uh, map, uh, you can mount your network drives, you can uh, access your DAS drives. You know, this is how it would look like if you use the software and this is how on the Mac it's gonna look like. So uh, as you can see here, um, it's gonna appear as a network, uh, as a DAS actually drive. Um, and here is the um, NAS connection, how you see this IP address, because if it, DAS doesn't have IP and, and NAS has. So you, you can see that this pro, store, uh, pro solution will actually give you these two very different uh, ways of connecting. Uh, there's also QNAP, if you, who also offer two uh, different ways of connecting, either via Thunderbolt or 10 gigabit. So they got the 72 XT series and older 53 BT3 series and now there are a um, few models 88Xs which uh, can be upgraded with Thunderbolt card. Uh, the solution is here is slightly different because they are using um, Thunderbolt as a way to connect uh, but they are still using uh, IP like Ethernet protocol. So you connect via Thunderbolt, you don't need a um, network card or switch but it will still be um, showing up as a network um, hard drive. So it's going to have your the IP address and stuff like that. And, and some software might be not happy with this, but the um, majority will be happy. But this is um, something uh, that actually could be cheaper than Pegasus solution, but uh, still possible to have two, both worlds uh, available there <clears throat> if you need such thing. Snow G, Snow G uh, wouldn't allow you to have um, Thunderbolt connection um, per se, but you can have um, models with PCIe slot or 10 gigabit um, uh, LAN built in. Um, you can you can then connect 10 gigabit Ethernet, and uh, and on other end you can have um, Thunderbolt um, to 10 gigabit adapter. So if you have this um, Thunderbolt connection on your Mac or in fact computer any other computer, you can plug a 10 gigabit port. Um, at the back of this adapter on the other end uh, into a your NAS 10 gigabit connection LAN as well. They do SFP and they do um, RJ45 kind of uh, connection. So th that's the way how you can turn um, Synology into a some sort of Thunderbolt device. But again, it would have its IP address. It would have um, um, Ethernet sort of connection. So that it would connect as a network drive rather than DAS. But this will work with a uh, popular software like Premiere and, and and software like that. So the compatibility is there. You can also use five gigabit adapter because you don't need actually ten gigabit speeds to edit even f um, something decent like four K for a single user. Five gigabit would be even f fast enough. So you can go for ten gigabit, five gigabit option. Um, the other things what you can do is like um, with NAS uh, on the Mac, you can install something like Dropbox. Um, uh, alternative, which is called QSync on um, uh, QNAP or, or um, Synology has Drive app. So you, you have this folder which can be synchronized all the time in the background. Whatever you do, it's going to be synchronized on the NAS. Uh, you can choose what um, content you want to keep only on the NAS, but uh, 
appear as a shortcut on, on your computer. So uh, these are extra functionalities you do, wouldn't get from a DAS box. So this is something to, to actually consider. And you can also mount a, a network drive on your Mac. Just click connect to the server, put the IP address and uh, username, password, and you can you have your drive added this way. Um, the same with um, a QNAP, a QSync as well. You can just um, install QSync app or map the drive, and you have this access to to this uh, to a NAS. Uh, you can also enable time machines, as I mentioned earlier. Just uh, select a disk, which is going to be your network drive, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. You can also read about this on um, uh, NAS Compare's blog. There is a well manual how to connect like, and create a time machine and. There's way and many more things actually to learn as well. Um, I hope this um, explained you what would be the best NAS um, uh, for a Mac system. So you would need to consider something either with Thunderbolt at the back uh, or Thunderbolt and 10 gigabits if you want decent speeds um, or have this so some com combo solution because um, speed is really what you are looking at. And the uh, other thing is that more drives will mean better speeds or uh, if you use SSDs inside also that will improve the speed uh, and um, this is what is um, I hope this really helped you if you've got any other questions you can always use a question form put the question in there or send an email to info and ask compares and uh, if the question will be interesting enough we're gonna create a video like this and uh, this way we can help others as well I hope this helped you and have a lovely day